Let's load an instrument. A flute. We'll use flute player one. Then we have to make the audio track receive audio from whatever channel we want in area, which we want area 3-4. Now, we have to make sure that the flute is spitting out its sound on 3 and 4. And so it sounds like it is. If we turn that volume way down in the player, obviously that's controlling MIDI volume. Okay? If we change the fader in the mixing board on the MIDI track, naturally it's going to change the MIDI volume. It doesn't matter where you change it. It's MIDI, so it's going to change everything. Let's insert a volume. Some volume. Changing volume. Continuously changing data. Okay? Look at the fader. It's moving with the fader automation. Okay? You can see they're in tandem. They're both following the MIDI data. Okay? Same way with the pan. You pan it left in the mixer, in DP's mixer, it changes the pan in the area player. Or, and vice versa. Okay? You would want the pan set wherever you want based on the audio recording that you're going to use. So if your audio track is set to area 3-4, that's a stereo track. 